As you all know, I love showcasing mobile performance on this channel, and I'm always using the Metal Performance HUD. However, so many of you are reporting that it's difficult to set up, using terminal is a pain in the ass, and you don't want to use like jailbreaking tools or exploits. So what I've done is I have created a very simple graphical user interface that allows you to more easily enable the Metal Performance HUD on iPhone and iPad. So today we're gonna to take a quick look at how to use it, how to set it up and so forth. If we head over to GitHub, you can see the page where you can download my app and it's called Metal HUD Mobile Config. So if we go over to releases, we can download this zip right here and it will go to your downloads folder. Now that the app is downloaded, when you initially try to open it, you will be blocked from macOS. In order to open it, you simply have to go to system settings, privacy and security, and click open anyway. This app is very safe. It's literally just installs Xcode and command line tools. And then you're gonna get this pop-up saying that Xcode is not installed. So we need to install it. So when you press OK, it closes the app, opens Xcode, and you just download it. And we'll wait for it to download. Okay, now that Xcode has installed, we can close the App Store, close multiple extensions added, close settings, and we can open the app now. And then you'll now get a prompt to install Apple software. So enter in your password and it will install the software. This can take quite a long time. So please be patient. Okay, now that the app is open, we're going to connect our iPhone or iPad to our Mac via a USB connection. On your iPhone or iPad, you'll probably get a message saying to trust the Mac, so be sure to press trust, otherwise your device is not going to appear in the list here. Once you've done that, press list devices. Once it has paired, you can disconnect your iPhone because you can do all of this wirelessly. As we can see, I have connected my iPhone 16 Pro Max. Yours will probably be named differently depending on what you name it on your device, but you can always see the model number here. Now what you want to do is you want to go onto your iPhone or iPad and find the game that you want to enable the HUD for. I'm going to choose Resident Evil 3. All we have to do is open the app on the device. And then click show running apps. Now, when you press it, it is going to take quite a long time initially. If you don't have developer mode enabled, the app should detect this and give you a warning and you should be able to easily enable it via the on-screen instructions. And there we go, there's Resident Evil 3. It should automatically fill it into the app path. I've also made the app hide apps that are not important. From here, we can save the app path. So we could go RE3 iPhone 16 Pro Max, and then we can use that command later. We need to go back to our iPhone, swipe up, close the app, and then launch app with Metal HUD. And on your device, the game should now launch with the metal HUD. If the HUD has not appeared, simply swipe up, close the app, and try again. Here we are in the game, and the HUD is working as expected. Also keep in mind, this is all being done wirelessly. As I said, you do not have to have your iPhone cable connected after you have paired your device. After you close the app, the metal HUD mobile config will remember your last 10 commands, which we'll show here. You can also enter in a HUD alignment, which will change where the HUD is on screen. 
This is extremely finicky, and you will have to play around with custom numbers until you get it in the position you want. For example, if I choose 25, the HUD will launch on the middle left of the screen on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. I think my favorite part of this app is how you can manage multiple devices at once with ease. I have connected lots of devices and I can simply just click a device and it will autofill in the device identifier below. I want to take a look at my iPad Pro 11 inch with M4. And there it is. Developer mode is already enabled on this device. I want to enable the HUD for Definity Original Sin 2. So I jump onto my iPad, I open Definity, I click Show Running Apps, and it automatically goes into the app path below. Now I'm going to close Definity on my iPad and click Launch App with Metal HUD. And here we are, I'm in the game and the Metal HUD is working as expected. Once you close the app, you will also get a list of your logging information. This tool also works fine with Apple TV, although it's a little more complicated to pair initially. See my GitHub page for more info on that. It is worth noting you cannot enable the HUD system-wide on iPhone and iPad with this app. This app will also not work with OpenGL games, which is exactly the same on Mac. The Metal HUD just doesn't work with OpenGL. Also, you might have compatibility issues with games that are powered by Molten VK. You could possibly be banned from games that use anti-cheat, but I have not actually had that happen to me. So I just want to put a word of caution out there for games like PUBG or Fortnite or COD Mobile and so forth. So yeah, let me know if you have any issues with installing the app. That's one of the biggest problems with uh, linking it to Xcode and also uh, linking your device. Let me know if you have any issues with that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys.